Okay, this video should explain to you how to use in route uh, to search locations um, to use. You know, I use it to for my business to find. You know, to map where I'm going when I'm in places I don't know where I'm at. Uh, you can use it for your own towns. You can use it really a lot of ways to really make the best map for you and find all the places you're going. So I'm gonna in this demonstration we're gonna use Nashville as an hour north of here hour and a half and we're going to put all the Walgreens on the map so if you can see the search here if you type in Walgreens sorry about my hand being there as you start to come up it'll it'll bring up some of my searches um, if you notice once I hit the word Walgreens at the bottom the option comes up to add all places to the map so we'll do that but notice how it only did part of it because it has a limit of I believe 10 that will put on there at a time so we will I will move the map over and kind of make it bigger so we're just going to get this section and I'll just touch the search bar again and hit the space bar and it searches again and it brings up the generic Walgreens so you hit the generic Walgreens again add all places to the map and it adds a bunch more over here. Brentwood and stuff, this is a and Franklin are outside. So we're gonna we're gonna repeat this a couple times in each of the areas around these larger cities. And I'll start dropping them. Okay, so that one. So I just kind of make it bigger where kind of move it around so there's no no the other wall range around the map so it won't duplicate for you. And even if it does duplicate, it only puts one point on the map, so there's not more than one. So as you can see, um, as I zoom out now, now you have, it's, it's generally about 90% good. It doesn't always get everything. You know, if there's an area that doesn't look like it has any, I'll hit a couple more. And that time it didn't add any to it, so... That's pretty much all the Walgreens on the map. So, you, know, you know, now that you've got all the spots on there, you go, now what do I do? Well, in their latest update to go with iOS 11, there's a little, down here in the bottom corner, there's a finger that looks like it's, it's drawing a little line. If you will hit that, um, it says to draw pins around um, to select them. So basically, I'm going to make a big circle around all the pins. And your option over here with the arrow up on the envelope is to, you can add them to the route, you can remove them from the route, you can set colors, or you can save them. So let's add them to the route. So that puts all 31, 32 is the large, 33 is the large number I see. So that means there's 33 stores. And generally what I do when I go into a city like this is, you know, I'll, I'll have a hotel. Um, and I'll be coming from a certain certain place. So let's just if you if you hold a finger down, you can drop a pin. We're gonna make that pretend that's my hotel. And we want that to be the destination. It is now making the the optimal path from my location here home. You can make that location anything you want by clicking it as the start. But the green button down at the bottom is that's down there where I live. Um, my locations it has start right there. So if you hit put the start you can take the start off and now you can pick it pretty much anywhere you know say you want say you wanted to start at number 25 as your first store instead of being a waypoint make it a start and it's now going to make the fastest mount route it's what it, it has traffic data in here um, because it, it is using Google to Google Maps to formulate its route and you know it it considers things like one-way turns and all the all the things that that I wouldn't think of as why a certain way would be faster. And so it is. It takes it a minute because it is now you know it's got an algorithm that goes through to to draw this map. So it kind of zigzags through. See, so it changed the order some, and it ended up at the the one spot up there. 
it tells you this 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 route right here I don't know if you can see it or not um, is 115 miles it, it will take you four hours and 55 minutes to drive it so so why is that important you know as I to try to determine how many places I can get to you know I know it's gonna take me a minimum of almost five hours just to drive around here and that's traffic at the time it was made you know if this is so as it gets closer to five o'clock in the afternoon the you know the time traffic patterns get bit busier so that you have to take that into account but if there's 33 stores and I've um, I've been to these quite a few times so you know once I get to an area I'll be more familiar and be able to turn into them some of the one thing you might want to know is you know what do you do when how do you get from point the start point to say I'm say I've already done number one um, generally what I do is once I've done that I'll take the I'll take the start off of it even though it says that's 34 you know that man this gmail is enough to drive you nuts that you know that that is where you're at and so if you want to get from there if you want to get to the number one destination this is this is going to make a map from my house but sorry about that but it, it would work uh, it, wherever you're at but since I'm at my house of course if you touch on the on the, the water range to see how it brings this up it tells you the address of it phone number of it um, and the point on the map um, you can remove the pin but to get number one if you mash that that box with the arrow up your options come up showing ways showing Google Maps showing Apple Maps you can send the address to any of these things since I use ways uh, I click showing ways so it's bringing ways up ways is going to let's go make a u-turn on West Ashley Drive that's my that's the street I live on but I uh, it's telling me that I'll be there at 10 15 it's 115 miles from my house to stop number one you can get alternate routes um, but you either hit let's go or it makes a route for you but it's gonna make the route from my house all the way there and she's gonna talk you through the reason I like ways is that little blue dot I don't know if you can see it on the purple line that's where somebody's reported a police officer um, and it'll show up very big and it'll tell you when you get close to it police officer reported when you get up to a half a mile I can see three or four police officers but it also shows you, eh, I, it was just too it also shows you traffic where stuff is let's recenter but we're gonna get out of that and act like we're doing it so once I get there um, I will hit remove pin and so you will be over here you're, you're you will be there and uh so when i get back in the car and i want to go to the next one i'm always going to number one i know i have 33 stops left that's the last one over there that was actually the first hopefully that's not confusing it shouldn't be um but you know i will i will hit the map i will hit that hit ways ways will draw me make a u-turn on west ashley drive Ways will make me a map, and then I will follow Ways into the next door. And then when I get to the next door, I will hit, I hit remove pin. And when I get back in the car, we'll be going to. For some reason, it's been doing that where it shows the grid. If you in and out, it kicks back out. But that's the process I will use. I will, I will repeat this over and over until I'm done. Um, so say your plans have changed and you don't want to go to the ones on this side so we will hit the little guys here we'll draw the circle around those because you don't have enough time to get to those and we'll tell it and remove them from the route it turns them back blue because i don't want to take them off because you know if i'm spending the night in a hotel i want to get these tomorrow so i will keep going notice how all the numbers changed um, it backs them back down in order of the way the route was originally drawn so it subtracts those out um, and keeps everything in, in, in the current order see 8, 9, 10, 11 they're all in, in, 
in an order. So, and so then what I do is once I got to the hotel, all those 21 stores, 22 stores, eventually we'll be erased out. I hate it that does that. I don't know if that's my internet. They will eventually be erased out and I'll be left with only the blue dots. And, you know, then you just circle the blue dots, you tell it to add them to the route and start from your hotel. You know, say, say I was going to, uh, what's up street? Knoxville. Knoxville's down I-40. And I had, there's some, we'll add the, once, once you bring Knoxville into this period, we'll do the same thing. We'll add some in Knoxville. Let's say this was going to be my destination. And the hotel, the hotel over here is going to be my start. So that's, this would be day two. We want to pick up these other stores and then go across the state so basically it's going to tell you eh, <laughs> I didn't erase it hold on one second my bad let's erase all these guys like we went to them alright We're going to do the little finger thing here. We're going to add these guys. Add them to the route. And we'll do the same thing over here. Add these guys to the route. And now that the route is here, I just know that's the hotel. So we'll change it from a waypoint to start. Make a U-turn on West Ashley Drive. So there we go. It's it's drawn you a map from that hotel, the fastest way through, and it gets you back up on I-40, and then it's it's going to continue over here to the fastest way through Knoxville, and then to the last stop, which I just picked a store. It could be a hotel, it could be your house, it could be whatever. But that's how easy it is to use in route. Um, it is only available on iOS, um, but the new upgrades have made it very very simple. You can save this route. Um, you can send destinations, you know, via, via a text. You know, say you were meeting a friend in Knoxville, and you, you can shoot them a text so they know that the time is very accurate because it's calculating traffic and everything else. The only thing that changes is, you know, say there's a wreck or heavy construction that backs up, and Waze will update you in real time based on what other Wazers have gone through. So, you say there's a car ahead of you. Say 10 cars ahead of you have ways running. It calculates how slow they've gone, and the ones behind it, it adjusts your time. So it'll t it'll tell you traffic is unusually heavy. We're, it's going to take an extra 10 minutes on this route, and then your estimated time will go up. But it's very easy, very on the road, very functional program. If you have iOS, it works on your phone. Uh, uh, most anything that's got iOS 10 or higher, I think. But this is this one is iOS 11. I have it updated, and I enjoy this program. And uh, I, if you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments below. Um, and we'll try to do a couple more of these videos. You know, how do I do what I do? You know, what tool? It's you know, I could tell you what tool I use, but you know, showing you what tool I use. You know, you know, you could use this for yard sales if you decide to plot yard sales on there. Um, you wouldn't have the times you'd have but you have to individually put the addresses in but I have used it for yard sales on places I didn't know um, that was before yard sale treasure map you know was better with the maps in it but it also has maps in it so I use that as well maybe that'll be another video next time I'm out of, out of town on a Saturday or a Friday doing yard sales I will I do a short video on using yard sale treasure maps and making it map out things and in ways to get me to yard sale locations and towns that I've never been to before. So uh, I hope that helps. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that uh, normal stuff. And I appreciate your support and watching. Have a nice day.